Events Calendar. Congratulations on picking up the Filter Bar add-on. You're probably excited to unleash your new calendar filtering powers, so let's go over the ways you can configure the plugin to suit your needs. The first thing you'll want to do is head over to the Filter Bar Settings, which you can find under Events, Settings, Filters in your WordPress admin. So as you can see, we're on the Events Calendar Splash page. We're going to click on Settings down here, and we're going to click on the Filters tab. The first set of options that could be configured is the filters that are available to include in the filter bar. By default, only event category, tags, venue, featured events, and cost are enabled. So if you'd like to enable additional filters, you could do so under Events, Settings, Filters, which is exactly the page that we're on right now. These are all of the available options. We have the Event Category, which allows you to view only events in specific categories. We have the Cost, where you can view events with a certain price range. We have tags, view only events which have certain tags, venues, view events that are happening at specific venues. We have organizers, view only events with certain organizers. Then there's the day view, where you can view only events on specific days of the week. Time, where you can view events that take place in a certain part of the day, for example, in the morning. Country, you can view events with venues in a particular country, as you can do with the city. Then we have state and province, where you can view events with venues in a particular state or province. Featured events, where you can only view featured events only and event status, where you can view events marked as canceled or postponed. If you have filter bar and virtual events, you'll also see a virtual events filter. Activating this filter will add a radio button filter with three options. You can view all events, which is the default, view only virtual events, or hide virtual events. You will also see a moved online event status option if you have events marked with that option. If you have Filter Bar and Events Calendar Pro, you'll also see one more available filter, Distance. And we'll take a look at that on the screen right now. Here we go. This filter shows if a visitor uses the location search on any calendar view. They can use the filter to narrow the initial search to a specific radius from the defined location. You can change the distance units under Events, Settings, General, under the map settings area. Note that in order for the distance filter to work properly, you will need to enter a valid custom Google Maps API key under event settings integrations, which we'll take a look at right here. And if we take a look at the integrations, we have Zapier and here we go. We have Google down here, Facebook video, recap keys, and here we go. There's a section near the bottom, Google Maps API, and that's where you wanna put your API key. With Events Calendar Pro and Filter Bar, you'll also have the option to use a Series filter. This one right here. This filter shows if you have configured at least one series for your events. Checking this option will allow users to see only events that are grouped together by a series. Check and unchecking filters in the Available Filters panel have two effects. The first is that it will add or remove filters to the Active Filters box on the right. And as you can see here, if we uncheck these, they are removed. Check box, the filters, they get added. And the options available to site visitors using the country, city, or state province filters are defined by your published venues. The filters only include data from published venues that are assigned to a past, present, or future event. The information from venues that are not associated with any published events will not be used in the filters. If you use Events Calendar Pro 4.0 Plus, then you have the extra option of being able to add any additional fields you've created to the filter bar. Let's say, for example, you have a custom field for dress attire. And if we took a look here at the additional fields tab, we're going to add a drop down box, field label of dress attire, and we'll say shirt, pants, shoes, and save the changes. Next, we'll go back to filters and you'll see on the left hand side that dress attire now becomes an available filter and if I check the box it shows up at the bottom of the list and here we could see it in action with the various settings and I can also change change it back to check boxes or multi select note that even if you add a pro custom field to the filter bar settings it will not appear on the front end unless at least one of your events has a value set to this particular field by default, filter bar is displayed as a horizontal bar across the top of your calendar. That's awesome, but let's say you prefer the filters to display to the left of the calendar. Well, that's no problem. We can do that by selecting vertical in the filters 
layout option. So if we take a look down here at the bottom, we see vertical and horizontal. So you would simply click horizontal and save changes. Now our filters will display next to the calendar vertically instead of above the calendar. When using the horizontal layout, then by default, the filter bar would be collapsed on the front end so that users can expand the specific options as they'd like. Note, you will not see this option with the vertical layout. If you prefer to hide the filtering options by default, you could select Stay Collapse until visitors open it in the filter's default Stay option when using the horizontal layout. As you can see here, right below the filter's layout, we have an option for filter bar default state, and you would click Stay Collapse until visitors open it. It's worth noting that Mobile View follows slightly different rules. There, the filters will always be closed by default, irrespective of the above setting. When configuring your filter bar settings, it's important to remember to save your work by clicking the Save Changes button. It's easy to forget, but a necessary step to ensure that all of your hard work is saved and it works. If you encounter any issues, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. Good luck.